Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. I hope you guys are enjoying the Thanksgiving special on the Mercedes wagon. Um, but uh, today I wanted to uh, talk about scanners. Uh, I've had a lot of questions. Ivan, which scanner do you recommend? What do you think of you know the Diagon versus the Think Tool Pros? Which one should I get? Well, let's do a quick head-to-head -head comparison here and see which tool you should invest in. Uh, also, for Black Friday, uh, Amazon is having some amazing deals on these. So, if you're going to get one, wait until Black Friday. <clears throat> uh, they have some really good discounts. So, which tools are we looking at today? Well, first, if you just want to read OBD2 trouble codes in your engine, your check engine lights on, and you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars, just get this Elm 327 interface and the Torque app on your smartphone. And for 20 bucks, you can basically do uh, everything that, you know, if you go to Advanced Auto Parts or something and they scan your codes, you know, this is a Torque app. It Bluetooth syncs with the Elm 327 module, and away you go. But today I want to look at these three scanners. So this is the Launch Diagon 4, which came out a few years ago. And this is my kind of portable, throw it in a book bag. It's always there. Uh, very convenient. This is the new version, the Launch Diagon 5. And you can see the screen is a bit wider. Almost the same form factor. It's a little bit thicker but it does have a nice screen and then our familiar think tool pro s not the pro the one with the s uh, this is my main you know everyday workhorse scanner for modern vehicles anything newer than 2010 with you know can network where you want all the modules you want a full health report really quick easy efficient uh, that's that's my scanner I go to. Also has a bigger screen, obviously, for better graphing. The first test I want to do is uh, how fast do these boot up? So long gone are the days of you know the old Snap-on Varus where you have to wait like two minutes for the thing to load up and warm up, and then finally you get to scan your car or do whatever you need to do. Um, also, huge difference in battery life. These scanners, they can, you can have them on all day long without charging them. Compared to the Varus, you get like maybe three hours, so you kind of have to work fast. Uh, so let's turn them on at the same time and see how fast they boot up. All right, let's press the power buttons on all these devices. Start our stopwatch. They're all going. Let's see who wins the race here. It shouldn't take more than maybe, oh, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. All right, Android app is starting. So we'll go right into the Diagon, right into Diagnosis. Diagnose, so you're ready, and the uh, Diagon 4 is a little bit behind, but not much, so under a minute, you're ready to go. Now, I have this 2007 Toyota Prius here in the shop, just replaced the uh, air-fuel ratio sensor, so let's plug in these tools and see how fast they can go through all the modules, do a full comprehensive health report, and then we'll look at some live data. So the launch Diagon I love because the dongle is very small and it, you can carry it with the tool. The larger scanners like the Think Tool Pros, you have to figure something out. Like I don't carry the full case with all the adapters, it's kind of bulky. Uh, I just have it in like a plastic bag, you know, a Ziploc bag. It's not as nice. But the, these are uh, very, very handy. So you just pop the dongle out, find your OBD2 port. Here it is right here. It's 
So now, let's time the Diagon 5, see how long it takes. So basically you'll turn the ignition on while your lights are on. Okay, let's start our timer. Go to Toyota. Sixteen pin. Okay. So I guess this has a smart key with a push button. Okay. Okay. So we'll just do the Diagon 5 compared to the Think Tool Pro since these two tools are on sale. So let's do a health report. You got your little percentage there. Hundred percent. Okay, and then you just wanted to do report. Okay. Save. That's it. So minute 42 for the full health report. And, you know, we just have one fault in here. I already cleared all the other ones out. So this touch screen is, uh, well, I guess that's all we have. So, and then if you want to share it, you can Bluetooth it to your right to your laptop or I guess email it if that's set up. And what else do we want to do here? Well let's go into engine and ECT. And just graph a couple data pids. Let's see, no trouble code. There's a back button there also down here. Here's all of our PIDs. So you actually have to scroll down, see lambda, voltage, let's do the oxygen sensor voltage downstream. So you can see if you have a lot of data pids, you just have to scroll down. Well, on the Think Tool Pros, you actually have a search function. Okay, we're at 3.3 .3 volts. That's good. That's normal uh, reported voltage for <clears throat> the um, air fuel ratio sensor. If you want a graph, obviously you can see that the graphs here, are just because of the small screen, so. I guess it only shows two graphs side by side. You can combine them. Again, very, very small print, but the coverage is there. You can look at all your data. So now let's uh, get the Think Tool Pros. And you'll see why you might want to spend the extra 300 bucks for the bigger screen, for a little more capability. Um, but again, if you're just on the go and need a small, very efficient scanner with amazing coverage, this is the one to get. All right, here we go with the Think Tool Pros. We'll turn our key on, start our stopwatch. We go to Asian, Toyota. Okay. Connector Bluetooth, 16 pin, OK. 
Okay, uh, with smart key. Okay. And we're in. And do smart scan. So this is a, actually I love the feature of the map. You can actually see the different networks here. And again, super fast, but you'll see what is online and what isn't online, what it expects to be online. The map is just really fantastic. So we're done, about a minute 20. Same thing with the report. You can customize it, it looks really nice. And just save it, share it with Bluetooth. So basically the same exact time for your full health report here. So obviously the big advantage is the screen is about one, two, three times bigger. So when you're looking at live data and graphing, this is a you know this is a big big advantage here if you're doing diagnostics on a daily basis. <clears throat> Let's go into our engine computer. Okay. You see this, you know, these new tools, they just fly through very fast to respond on network vehicles. So data stream. <clears throat> You see we have two lists here, so you can actually scroll through faster. Let's do air fuel system. And you have, uh, you know, the search feature here. You can type in oxygen sensor or, let's see, bank. Oh. Here, short term, long term, lambda. Okay, there's our list. And when you graph it, these graphs are much easier to read because of the big screen versus only having two tiny graphs at a time on the uh, on the Diagon Five. And if you combine them. You have, uh, you know, you can up to four data pids you can select, and then you can actually zoom in on your data, which is nice. And then usually, because recording data is kind of a pain on any of these new tools, you just hit the snapshot button, and it'll store this to the uh, the actual file. So if you want to review the file. Let's, you know, you have to basically quit out of the, you want to exit, it'll tell you, don't forget your stuff, and then think file, right here, Toyota Prius, and here, the snapshot will actually be attached to your database. This is really nice the smaller launch products do not have this uh, history and if you're doing a lot of cars the history is actually very very useful on the launch you can just go through your reports but it saves them as you know just a report here it's more organized so you have your report here your you know your pictures there's the report you can just share it you know using bluetooth so pretty Pretty handy, um, and the big screen makes it really nice. Again, it's not as portable, but you know, for you basically, uh, you know, that's the trade-off: the size versus usability, portability. So these tools are on sale uh, for Black Friday. The Think Tool Pros is 20% off, so you can get it under a thousand bucks. That's an amazing value. I, I don't think you can beat that. Uh, the Diagon 5 is 10% off, so you can get it under 700 bucks. So you can see about a $300 difference there. You saw what the differences are. 
just screen size and the uh, the nice um, you know the health report you get a nice map of the network on the Think Tool Pros versus on the launch diagram you just get a list but again uh, same capability or very very close in terms of functionality you can you know program keys on most cars you can uh, you know customize stuff it's it's these are really powerful tools technology has come a long way so you've been if you've been waiting to get a scanner Black Friday is the time to do it I'll put links in the description and hope you uh, get your money's worth out of these scanners you know, back to the Mercedes case study